Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Today, the day I'm filming this, is October 16th, meaning we are already halfway through the month of October, and that means that it is time for Harvest of the Month. So today I have a recipe video for you featuring our October Harvest of the Month vegetable. Drum roll, please. Bell peppers! I'm super excited because I love bell peppers. And fun fact, I really, really did not like these when I was a kid, but now I love them, which just goes to show you that your taste buds really do change. So you've just got to keep trying different fruits and vegetables and foods, even if you think you don't like them. So for this harvest of the month, you will be receiving some red bell peppers in your meal distribution kit this week. And we are going to make a very delicious recipe using these bell peppers. And it's going to be a little bit Halloween inspired too, since October is Halloween month. You're probably wondering, Miss Olivia, what is the October harvest of the month recipe? It is bell pepper pizza. Yes, you heard that right, we are making pizza. Let me show you the ingredients and how it's done. Okay friends, so here are the ingredients and tools you will need for this recipe. First off, I have some bell peppers. You will need one, and I believe you will be getting a red bell pepper. I've already cut it and started using mine. You will need one bagel. You will also need some marinara sauce and some mozzarella cheese. For tools, you will need a cutting board, a knife, and a baking tray with some tin foil. So to start out, of course, as usual, make sure you go wash your hands and ask an adult for help. All right, so after you have done those two things, we're going to set aside the marinara and the mozzarella and get to cutting. First things first, we're going to cut our bagel in half. Mine is already pre-cut, so you just need a very gentle knife through it. Be very careful of your fingertips here. I'm using the bear claw grip to keep them safe. It doesn't matter if you use the top or the bottom piece, whatever one you like. I'm going to use the bottom. So we're just going to place this on our baking tray and we're actually going to take a small chunk and you can just tear this off the top of your bagel because we want to fill in the hole so it's there's no hole in the middle. So just tear off a piece and kind of stick it in there. Voila! Okay, that part is done. And before I forget, make sure you go ahead and set your oven or toaster oven to 375 degrees. I am using a toaster oven today and it's good to get it preheating while you are putting this bagel pizza together. All right, so like I said, you are probably getting a red bell pepper this week. However, I'm going to use an orange one because we need to use the bottom and I've already cut off the bottom from my red one. So the first step is we're going to cut off the bottom of the bell pepper and we're gonna take off about this much. Now we're going to cut straight down right through here. So we'll take off this whole piece from here. All right, so these are the pieces we'll need and we're going to come back to them in just a second. Really quick, we're going to take a spoon and the marinara sauce and put as much marinara as you like on your bagel pizza. And we're gonna throw the mozzarella on top. You can do as much or as little cheese as you like. Okay, now here comes the fun part. We're going to use these pieces of bell pepper to create a spider shape on top. So this will be the spider's body, and we're going to use this part to create the legs. So as you can see, there's kind of three parts of this. We're gonna cut them all into individual little bits and then make the body of the spider. So I just cut these two off to make them fit better together and that will be the body of the spider. And these tidbits that we don't need, well you can just eat them. 
because they're delicious. All right, so let's place the spider body on the pizza just like this. There's kind of the head and the body. All right, now let's get to the legs. We are just going to cut some thin strips here and then we'll cut them in half. Now you can arrange them as little legs and spiders are arachnids, meaning they have eight legs. So make sure you have four on each side. And voila, there is our spider bell pepper pizza. Now it's time to put it in the oven or toaster oven for about 15 minutes. And we will check on it after that and see how it looks. Hello. Now you might be wondering, Miss Olivia, what can I do with the rest of my bell pepper? Because that only used a little piece of it. Well, I have some ideas for you. Make some more bagel pizzas if you want. They're a great snack or a great little lunch. Or you could do what I do and eat the bell pepper raw because I love bell peppers. They're seriously one of my favorite vegetables. You can also cut them up into little strips and then dip them into hummus or ranch or your favorite dressing. You could cut them up in small chunks and eat them in a salad. You could cook them and eat them with some tacos or some fajitas. You can also stuff them with rice and vegetables and a protein like lentils or ground meat and then roast them in the oven and they are delicious. You can also bite into them just like an apple. It has a crazy crunch. All right, friends, so our bell pepper bagel pizza has been in the oven now for 15 minutes and mine doesn't look quite done yet, so I'm going to put it in for another 10 minutes. You'll know when it's done when the bell pepper on top is a little bit soft to the touch. It's not gonna be um, crunchy like a raw bell pepper. It's a little bit softened. All right, friends, I'm just checking on my little bell pepper spider bagel pizza. It looks pretty close to done, so I'm going to take it out. If you want the cheese to be a little bit more browned, like you can see right there, you can set it on broil for a couple minutes, but I think it looks great. Ta-da! So cute. Our bell pepper bagel pizza is done. I think it looks awesome. I can't wait to taste test it. I've actually made this before, so I know it's really good. And I forgot to add earlier, you could add any toppings you want to this. If you like a little bit of red pepper flakes or some olives, or you could even tuck some spinach under here to give it an extra boost. Let's see how it tastes. Oh my gosh, I think you guys are really gonna love this one. It tastes like pizza with bell pepper on top and it's really delicious. I love the combination of the kind of sweet and tangy bell pepper with the tomato sauce and the cheesy bits on top. Mine even got a little crispy right there. It is so good. I really hope you try this recipe and love it like I do. If you try this recipe, please, please respond to my survey that I'm putting in the description of this video. And also, please leave me a comment and let me know if you like it. That's all for this video, friends. I hope you try this, and I will see you next time. Bye!